Hello everyone, it's Peter, your personal face exercise coach from Face Aerobics. Today we're going to be doing an update on the five principles of face aerobics, so stay with me and I'll be back soon. Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming by today, I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to be doing an update on the five principles of face aerobics. And this is because there's so many people that have come onto the channel now and possibly you haven't seen the five principles exercise video and it's very, very important that you follow those principles because when you follow those principles, you will have every chance of your face exercise success. Okay, so let's start with the first one. The first one is isolate. The second one is visualize. The third one is activate the mind-body connection. The fourth one is repetitions. And the fifth one is hold and freeze for the muscle burn. So the first one, isolate. There are two components to this. There's one that isolates the wrinkles and another one that isolates the muscles. So the first one is isolate the wrinkles or the skin. So when you're doing the exercises, often I ask you to hold an area and you know, it might be this exercise here. You hold the area and what that's doing is holding the wrinkles up here. And it's also creating a little bit of resistance in this area and also does create a bit of resistance as well. So you, it is very, very essential to the face aerobics program to isolate the wrinkles. What it's actually doing is actually holding back the wrinkles as you're doing the exercises. Because if you constantly are doing this without holding the wrinkles, you are going to get wrinkles. It depends on what type of exercise you're doing and other people, as I say, they do exercises in a way that don't um, cr crinkle up the skin and they often just do neck, exer neck exercises or exercises around their mouth. They don't sort of do exercises that crinkle the skin. So when you're doing uh, my exercises, you do have to hold them and you have to hold them quite firmly because you do not want to get more wrinkles. So that's the first one is isolate the skin or isolate the wrinkles. The second one is isolate the muscles. So when you isolate the muscles, essentially what you do is you hold one muscle and it allows another muscle to move without the top muscle that you're holding. Here's a link to the technique that I created called the press and plant technique. Now go after this video and watch that. Don't worry about watching it now, but just watch it later. And it will teach you about how that works. So basically, if you are smiling, for instance, many other muscles on your face move. But if you just want to isolate a few muscles, you do need to hold other areas. For instance, if you want to isolate these muscles in the middle of your face or of your cheek, you have to isolate the top parts and the lower parts. As you can see, that's what you have to do. And you have to do it quite firmly. So there are exercises that call for the press and plant technique. So go here, have a look afterwards, and you will learn about that. So the second principle is visualize. Now visualize is very important to the facial aerobics program because what it does, it starts bringing into uh, the mind-body connection. So it's a forerunner for the mind-body connection. So when you visualize, what you're doing is you're visualizing the muscles that you're exercising. And that's the most beautiful thing about this program is, as I mentioned, if you smile, many muscles move. But when you visualize, you can just hone in on one, one muscle and that's all you need to do. Don't worry about the other muscles that are moving around it, just focus on that one muscle and you will find that it really works. Now, I've got a schematic of the face. Here is a link to it. Can't go to it afterwards, download it, and what I'd like you to do is to start coloring in these different muscles because when you start doing that, it really gives you the opportunity to remember and to visualize what you're actually doing. And as I say, it's a forerunner into the um, mind body, activate the mind body connection. So if you are uh, coloring in these different muscles, you have a much better chance of knowing what you're actually doing rather than just randomly exercising your face. So this is a really good thing, a really technical thing that will help you with the success of visualizing. So go ahead and download that. Now that is visualized, so running into the next one, which is the third one, which is activate the mind-body connection. Now this is really important and is central to the program and why it's in the middle of the, uh, it, like it's right in the middle of the, of the principles because it is central to the physical side, but also the mental side. 
So when you activate the mind-body connection, what happens? Something very magical happens because you start visualizing, you start seeing your muscles, but then you start seeing your face how you want it to be. And what that does is it actually opens a portal to your subconscious. And because your subconscious, it that and and your unconscious as well it runs parts of your body and what happens is that it will start you start telling your subconscious or programming your subconscious the way you want to look or how strong you want that muscle to be or your skin to sit back it will start doing it to a certain point because your subconscious will do anything you want it to do it's sort of like manifesting so you start visualizing it from inside and then what happens it starts manifesting out into the physical and this is exactly what happens with your face and your facial exercises once you start visualizing and start seeing the way that you want to look and start seeing those muscles strong and firm energizing those muscles with light and also anything that you can think of it starts manifesting into the physical so this is what's called the mind-body connection and this is the very magical part of face aerobics and why it works. The fourth principle is repetitions. Repetitions are very, very uh, important because they are actually what helps grow the muscles and build the muscles. So with my program, you do 50 repetitions, 100 repetitions, 150 repetitions and you do those in two-week increments. Then when you finish the 150 repetitions, you come back to 50 on a new series. Okay? And it, this, is what's, this is what the actual program is. The exercises are what fleshes out the program, but the actual program are the repetitions. So it's very, very important that you get understand that why you are incrementing up to 150 and then come back to 50. And this is because as you're building, as you're moving up, you're building the muscles as you build into each increment. So 150 repetitions are quite a lot of repetitions and this is why you only do them for two weeks. Because if you do too many of them, your face will start to fatigue, the muscles will start to fatigue and the skin will start to sag. So when you hit the end of the 150 you come back to 50 to a new um, routine and then the reason why you do that is because it helps the muscles rest from doing 150 number one but also it helps you learn the new routine because there are you know five or six new routines now so it helps you learn that new tr new routine for a couple of weeks and you mustn't be impatient just do it for two weeks and then go up to the hundred and when you move up you'll start really feeling your muscles start to energize build and grow okay so the repetitions are really important so the last principle is hold and freeze for the muscle burn. So after each exercise set that you do, so you do 50 of say the forehead, then you freeze and hold for 20 seconds until the muscle starts to burn. And when it starts to burn, it's normally around the 20 second mark, you just release it. So you hold it really firmly, isolating the skin and the muscles, really firmly, breathing into it. And then when it starts to burn and you hit around 20, just release and it's such a wonderful feeling. This is what helps you give the lift. And then a lot of people will say, oh, you know, I do my exercises and then, you know, I look great and then the lift doesn't keep, it doesn't stay. Well, at some point it's going to stay there. All right, you just have to keep doing it. But this is what helps with the lift and keeping the lift. All right, so they are the five principles. Really important that you think about them. These are things that should be all going on in your mind when you're learning the program, when you're doing the exercises, when you're doing the routines. You need to apply these principles. And as I said, the one that's central is the mind-body connection. So with the mind-body connection, what I would suggest you do is go get a photo of you when you were, say, 20. And when you were 20, or when you were in the height of, you know, the, the height of your, your life and looking the best that you thought. Get that photo, stick it in front of you and tell your subconscious that's how you want to look. Okay, it's as simple as that. And then as you were doing your exercises, think about how you looked when you were 20. And your subconscious will look at that and go, oh, she wants to look like that again, I'm going to do that. And it will give you the best chance of getting back and starting to rejuvenate. Now, I'm not saying that you're immediately going to go back to what you look like when you're 20 and all of that, because it's our body. But it gives you the best chance to activate that mind-body connection to help you rejuvenate faster. All right, guys. Well, I hope that that's been informative to you today. Uh, please do remember to subscribe to the channel because it's in subscribing to the channel that you get all of these learnings free and all of these updates free. So please go to this link here. It will take you to the subscribe button 
And right next to that subscribe button, there's a little black bell. Please go ahead and click that bell because it will give you all the notifications and it will tell YouTube when I've uploaded a video and then it will send you a notification. So go ahead and do that because you will actually get notifications of the program. It's really important because the program changes or there might be something I need to tell you about it. So go ahead and do it if you're really interested in doing facial exercises. Also, please do remember to go to my Instagram account. I love Instagram. I have all my stuff there on Instagram, all my personal stuff. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That would be great. All right, guys. Well, you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time. Bye.